I'd like to apologize. Uh, young man, uh, great young man off YouTube. Uh, hmm, how do I want to call him? I guess he's the avenging asshole, or you can call him Band YouTube, or you can call him I think it's Dave of J. Well, Dave interviewed me the other day, and I was, I was about, I say a beer and a half short, three twelve packs. Um, I'd like to apologize for the level of um, childishness in the fact that I was too damn stupid during the interview. Um, I don't know if he found any good stuff to, to put out or whatever, um, because I was completely plastered. Um, the fact that when, you, when you're flattered by speaking to someone that you look at and you watch, and you're like, damn, dude, how do you do this? How do you do that? I was, I was impressed by this young man's work. So when I had the opportunity to talk to him on the phone, I jumped all over that shit. So, you know, but I was drinking and, you know, and I do not, I repeat, I do not want anyone to say, well, AIX drinks and I'm going to drink too. No, just because I was drinking, made an ass of myself in the interview with somebody who I really, I really like the young people of YouTube. Because, you know, there's a group of people, like I said, man, they don't drop the N-bombs, they don't do this, and they don't do that, and it's always fun, loving, good shit. They, they touch points that are true, and, you know, and they do it in a fun manner without hurting or offending anybody, and I like young people who can use their mind to be creative, because I, I consider myself somewhat of an artist or something. You know, I do art, I do music, I, I try to, to be expressive in everything I do and, and I was just, hey Dave I was drunk man and I apologize for being a, a piece of crap in the interview and you know that was that was not cool of me to carry on an interview like that and I don't give a damn how much I've drank so in saying that let me move on to the next subject, I apologize Dave again one more time, let me move on to the next subject now, the other day I did a series of music songs where, you know, it's like back in the days I would turn on my music and I'd sit there and play these songs and whatever vocals came out of my head, I would sing it, mix it, and call that a song, then move on over to the next level. As I got older, my talents have diminished a lot. And nowadays when I be doing my thing, people don't understand and the first thing I get on the bottom of the page is like, uh, you know, I liked what you said and it made sense and it was good, but you cussed too much. Well, I can explain that. And the guy says, well, I understand you're using, you use the cussing to express reality. No, I use the cussing because the educational system in America has limited to words that I want to use. In other words, if they would have taught me better, I wouldn't speak in the manner in which I do. Understand, that's no excuse for being ignorant. Thus, I use language because when the motor's running, you can't stop the words that flow out of your mouth. In other words, I do not, and I want to repeat this to everybody who's ever watched the AIX video, I do not write a script, I do not plan or formulate anything that I say. I spout. Spout. <coughs> I, I let it out. And sometimes I have to cuss to let that out. Because when you're doing spoken word, a lot of the shit I do is spoken word. I go off into my tangents and I talk about the sky. The day I had that dream, I spread my wings and began to fly. Someone on the ground shot a big old big blast. Fucking hot lead popped me right dead in the ass. As I hit the ground, running and limping, I hear these dogs barking, screaming, some whimpering. I hear the hounds coming closer. I don't know what to do. So I screamed for my friend, quack, quack, quack. But he flew off in that south wind and he kept going. 
running from the dogs. I feel it's cold and it's beginning to snow, man. What's going to happen? Am I going to be late? Or I'll be at duck dinner on somebody's plate. That's spoken word coming out of somebody's mind. I'm not writing nothing down. So when people criticize me for using cuss words, well, that was a great tangent. You went on about the economy, you went on about this, but you just cussed too much. So, what do you do? How do you stop somebody like me from doing what I do? How can I be the same if I change? Somebody says, well, don't you want to be a partner? Partners don't cuss. Partners don't do this. Partners don't do that. Partners got no backbone. Partners got no reason. You know, partners are poppy. They want to see how many people can be poppy. In other words, in, or, and to market something, you have to be marketable. You have to be able to market it. How, how can you market a black man that cusses a lot? For instance, Ice Cube, Will Smith, both of them started out as hip hop. Both of them started out as rappers. Both of them started out as black men. One was a gangster rapper and the other was a pop rapper. Now, the pop rapper is one of the highest grossing actors right now. And the hip hop guy, he does hellified family movies. Who's looked at in a higher regard? The one that didn't do no cussing. The gangster is making his money the pop star is riding his fame. In other words, when you're a popular person amongst the so-called controlling interest, interest in the country, then you're good. You're good to go. Hip-hop, hardcore rap, he has to make his money. No one's going to break their neck to go find Ice Cube to put him in a movie. You know, he got to be action, he got to be this, he got to be that. He's doing family movies. He's rebuilding what you think of him. Because those people who remember him from NWO, NWO, New World Order, you like, you like to do that in the NWA. No. Ice Cube was a bad man. You know, he got that mean nigga look if he wanted to have it. Excuse my language. Will Smith, nice guy, bubbly. He doesn't look hard in at all. When he was in that one movie with a uh, hot dog. What's the name of that darn movie? They made two of them, Bad Boys. When he was in Bad Boys, I was not scared of him. But that's how it is. The nice guys, they say finish last. But all you got to do is look real close. So let me get back on point again. I cuss a lot, but I don't have no scripts. So when people want to critique me and tell me what I'm doing wrong or whatever, you take this into consideration. You sit in front of your typewriter and you formulate the plan. My typewriter is typing writer. My typewriter is in here. Everything that's written down on a page is written down on a page in here. And as slow as my mind is, and the lack of education them fools and tried to California gave me, um, when I'm reading that piece of paper inside my head, if I'm not reading it fast enough, that's too bad. But you get the picture. Some people write it down and read it. And when I look down, I'm looking down at the little box right there with my picture in it. I'm not reading a piece of paper. I don't do that. Now, I do read, but I don't do anything pre-planned on YouTube. If somebody gives me a hook or a premise or a storyline, then I'll take it. Until then, you've been tubed.